I trust that you slept well? Or did the people perhaps not permit you the luxury of rest, eh? <laughs> or even better? There is no surer sign of a kingdom at peace than a high-spirited populace. Now, to more serious matters. Hendrik, there is something I wish you to have. The shield of Heliodor, sire. You are like a son to me. And it is a father's duty to prepare his offspring for the dangers that await them. You will have need of it, I am sure. You wear it well. The shield has always been the mark of our mightiest knights. There can be none mightier than the Luminary's own guardian. You have no complaints, I trust. No, my liege. I understand that you had hoped for the World Tree to guide you on your quest. Alas, it is no more. Yeah, but all on, hope huh? is not lost. Your father once told me that Yggdrasil was not the only sacred place in Adria. He spoke of another, a holy mountain in the south known as Pang Lai. The fate of those who dwell there is deeply intertwined with that of the Luminary, or so he said. It may be mere hearsay, a conversation half remembered, but if it is true, you may yet find help in your quest to defeat the Lord of Shadows. Venture west through the Mangle Grove, and you will find a valley that leads to the Costa Valor. Pass through the checkpoint beyond it, and you will soon find Mount Pang Lai. It is not a road I have traveled myself. Be prepared, and may your journey be a safe one. Yeah, okay. Seems a bit familiar, what he's talking about. But either way, welcome back to more Dragon Quest. Last time we left off, uh... Did we get whooped? Nah, we did the whooping. It was close though, I died <laughs> almost died like twice. Either way, you heard the man. We gotta head through the Mangle Grove and head towards the coast of Valora. Oh yeah, we got Hendrix now. Yuck. So he got the shield here. Yeah. Look at that. Dang. That's some good stats. But he's a great sword, so you know. Doesn't really do anything for you. Should I shut up? Give him a little buff? Nah, I still don't trust you. Let's go. Shoot. Goodbye, Mom. There's something I want you to remember. You may be the Luminary, and your destiny may be save the world, but that will never change the fact that you're my boy. When this is all over, come back to Cobblestone. I'll be waiting for you. And don't worry, there'll be nice stew waiting for you as well. Aww. All right. Is teleporting an option? <laughs> it is an option. Oh, everything changed. We can't can't go anywhere. Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's like they like reset us back to square one. So, head through Mangor. So we go left. Another thing I was like iffy on was the fact that he, somehow he knew of a second, like, sacred area that the father spoke of, yet I feel like Rap would have knew? You know, concerned that those two might have talked a bit. I, I, I don't know how he didn't know. 
feel like it's kind of weird. Alright, to get to Costa Velour, we gotta take that bridge. Up, oh, yep, so we, <laughs> we have to go back. We have to pass the dude we saved by turning to a dog. And we can't use the horse. Oh my god, this game. How do we go again? Uh, it doesn't matter, straighter, right? <laughs> Mr. Cow, you have to get out of here. That's safe. Let's see what kind of weather we can look forward to. Looks like it's all raining here at night tomorrow. Watch your step. It could get slippery. What a peculiar cow. Was <laughs> something shiny? No. Oh, you're kidding me. Why is everything in this place woken? Oh my god, look at that big orc. That was fun. Excuse us, coming through. Just a hero and his sidekick. Spellbound boat. Don't know what that is. No do I care. Get up, ticking boy. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. Shake your booty. I need some music changes. It's been the same song ever since the game started. Well, give me some tropical music right now. Hey, look, that's the chest we got that had a demon in it. Demon, okay. How are we supposed to climb this? Am I supposed to jump on it? Jump, yep. Don't fall, don't fall. Cool. We made it. Costa Valor. <laughs> Was it hard the second time? So, that's to, to Mount Pickler. Oh, wait, that's legit to the right. Okay. Was there a guard here last time? Or I think it might have been blocked. I'm not too sure. Got some demon troops. <laughs> Something up there. I just think it's sparkly. Uh, does it look like it's their treasure chest? Just feels like ah, oh, dang it! Camera messed up my footing. Eesh. Poison. That's not good. I thought I would be doing like at least a hundred. Not doing as much as I thought I should be doing right now. Oh no. Um hold on, let me check my items real quick. Do I have anything for poison? Yes. Cool. Did not want that. Weird. That, it was just a weird like shape on the map. I was like, oh, there's like a little dead end. Surely it's going to have a treasure chest. Like, see, right here. Take RPG 101. Mini metal. Ooh. Maybe I should head back to Coast of Valor and see if I can deposit some of the mini metals I have. I think I should have like five in stock. Oh wow, they're not in point and stuff. I feel like that should be there. Where is 
many medals. <laughs> Excuse me? Okay, I might have missed it or something, but... What ifs? Right, cool. Make a quick save right here. Let me take a quick sip of my drink. Let's just go to this cave. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> Weird entrance. And whoa! Oh, we're gonna kill you? I press A? Dragon Riders. Having a dragon skill be useful in this scenario. Guess not. Expecting a little bit more health. Oh, why I get to go again? Victory is ours. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yay! I'm a dragon now. Now I know why this game is called Dragon Quest. Mount Olympian achievement locked. Order for successfully riding six more mountable monsters. Cool. Okay, so how do I? I just hold it. Okay. This is cool. Oh, I'm gliding, that's even sad. <laughs> that's pretty sick. Oh, they can't catch me like this now. Stop it. This must have what it feels like to have a Charizard, you know? Get on his back, you start flying to you. You going anywhere. Alright, um... So we can explore a little bit of this cave. Oh yeah, three stops right here. Four. Some stones. And a... more aura, okay. Maybe a chest over here? I just see a sparkling spot. Nope, no chest, okay. I'll just get this one then. More. Okay. Now oh, that's the end of this cave, apparently. Oh, wow, we're already at Mount Pike? Wow. Oh, look, it's another dragon. <laughs> Alright, climb and find out some more connections. Okay, so there's a town and there's another cave. Guess we go to the town. Nope, nope, bad dragon. Look at them decorating, that's cute. I did not sound good. Oh, look, a snowman. Hmm. All right. Temple on top of a mountain. What connection could a place like this have to the luminary? It certainly benefits from divine protection of some kind. Yggdrasil fell to earth not far from here, yet the temple buildings escaped entirely unscathed. I know that face. That man is a knight of Heliodor. Dorian swine! You think that your blockade will break us? Think again. The disciples of Angrilla are made of sterner stuff, as you will soon see. 
Eh? What in the... These movements must be intended to confound us. Be on your guard. They may attack from any angle. Enough! All of you! Is this how we treat visitors? As your High Lama, I order you to stand down. Your Holiness, these people are not visitors. They are soldiers of Heliodor. We cannot be sure of their intentions. Soldiers of Heliodor, you say? The tall one, perhaps, but his young friend does not look like a military man to me. <gasps> I sense a great power within you. Tell me, young man, are you the luminary? How the hell did you know that? <laughs> uh, sure. Incredible. He divined your true identity with a single glance. How long we have waited for this day. Please, you must forgive my disciples' discourtesy. Their training is... incomplete. Welcome to Anguilla, honored luminary. It would please me if you would join me in the High Hall at the top of the temple. We have much to discuss. Strange child but remarkably perceptive for one so young. There is more to him than meets the eye, that much is certain. Well, we have come this far. We might as well make our way to this high hall of theirs, and see what he has to say. Okay. Hello, monks. I am known as the Gifted One. Nope. Look, 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 look. That's cute. What's up, boy? You got any good stuff I can buy? A battle dress. <laughs> what the frick are these prices? Oh my god. I might want that though. <laughs> this is some ridiculous stuff. I only got 8900. <laughs> You're trying to rob you blind. Where'd you want me to go? Hi, Hall. Uh, okay, we just passed it. Excuse me? Oh, Y'all really like your freaking stairs, don't ya? Has to be this. <laughs> Once again to Anguilla, honored luminary. As I believe you know, it is my privilege to serve as High Lama of this most sacred temple. I am to address you as Your Holiness, correct? Might I ask what you and your people know of my companion? Why everything, of course. We have awaited his coming ever since the day he entered this world, in the castle of Dundrasil. Waiting for him? What do you what? mean? I mean exactly what I say, nothing more. Tell me, do you recognize the symbol on this banner? It is the emblem of Dundrasil. Since the Age of Heroes, the princes of that nation have come here to train with us for six years of their youth. Your young friend was born a Prince of Dundrasil. Thus did we expect him to come here as a boy and study under the great Grand Master Pang. Sadly, that was not to be. So if fate had been kinder, you would have spent a good part of your childhood here. What of his tutor, this Grand Master Pang you speak of? When the Lord of Shadows brought the World Tree low, the Master set out to summon a magical mandala to protect the temple from destruction. The spell succeeded, but its power was too great. Grand Master Pang 
did not return. A noble sacrifice, indeed. Now that the Master is gone, it falls to me to guide you. Come to the Field of Discipline. It lies behind this hall. There is something you must see. It is a shame that the Grand Master cannot be here. I would have liked to meet one so noble. Come, let us see what His Holiness has in store. Why is the music so loud? <laughs> Especially like this place's music. Yeah, he went this way. This looks familiar. Beyond those doors lies the field of discipline. Where students of Anguilla strive for enlightenment. Before we tread upon this hallowed ground, let me tell you a little of our history. And of the luminary of legend himself, Erdwin. Before setting out to defeat the Dark One, Erdwin came to our temple to learn from the wise ones, who made their homes here even then. The first Grand Master, Ayi, accepted him as a disciple and trained him in the secrets of spiritual realization. But he did not train alone. During his time here, he met someone. Someone who would change his fate forever. Who was this person? Another of Ai Yi's disciples. A young mage whose talent outshone that of all who had come before. A man named Morkant. Erdwin and Morkant would train together every day, each striving to outstrip the other. Though they were fierce rivals, they became firm friends. When their training was complete, Morkant joined with Erdwin in his quest to slay the Dark One. Without Morkant's magic, he might never have prevailed. Before setting out, they carved an inscription into this stone. A pledge of eternal friendship. It has been a treasure of ours ever since. Morkant. I have not heard the name before. Now, allow me to show you to the field of discipline. If you would be so good as to follow me. That last ass kid. Is this this reminds me of the place where rap was training? Alright, kid, what you want? Welcome to the field of discipline. Since the age of heroes, many a would-be warrior has spilt sweat and blood upon these flagstones. If your karma had been different, this is where you would have trained under Grand Master Pang, like all the princes of Dundrasil before you. I have brought you here so that you might stand in the footsteps of your ancestors. An unbroken line leading all the way back to the Age of Heroes. Even your grandfather, Lord Robert, completed his training here. The memory of his achievements shall live long in the temple's memory. Why'd you pause? His achievements? Yeah. <laughs> Pang was a harsh master. With this implement, oh, disciples <laughs> the whose efforts stick. were lacking were given motivation directly to their fundament. It became known as the Naughty Stick. <laughs> During the course of his six years of tuition, your grandfather's right honorable posterior was paddled an unprecedented 10,000 times. Damn. The tale of Lord Robert's road to Tinky old man. lives on to this day. Every disciple knows that he must focus at all times, lest he face the same fate. A legendary achievement indeed. You are worried for your grandfather, yes? Do not be. 
Lord Robert overcame every challenge set for him by the Grand Master and emerged stronger every time. The fall of the World Tree would not have been enough to extinguish one so resilient. He is alive. I sense it. Tonight there will be a modest feast in the High Hall to celebrate your long-awaited arrival. We would be greatly honored if you would join us. We may not be able to aid you as we would have done were Master Pang still with us, but in this respect at least, we can provide. That night, the High Lama holds a banquet in my honor. Long-suffering disciples are overjoyed to have an evening's respite from their training, and eat, drink, and dance till the early hours. Then, morning comes. Awake at last, hmm? It is high time we were on our way. If the Grand Master were still alive, perhaps we might have learned something to help us in our fight against the Lord of Shadows. Sadly, it was not to be. Did you guys hear just someone breathing? I checked behind myself. <laughs> I was like, oh. Well, yo, I'm scared now. <laughs> that was weird. Okay. Now I'm a little confused. Because wasn't that lady Rab was training with a few episodes ago? Pretty sure that was Peng. She also had the naughty sticks. Alright, so where do they want me to go? That side. No. I press A. And the hermit? What news of him? <clears throat> Forgive us, your holiness. The monsters on the mountain path were too strong. We were unable to reach him. I see. Your Holiness, is there a problem? Yes, Sir Hendrik. I fear there is. You see, two weeks ago a hermit visited us, unannounced. Then just as suddenly departed for the top of the mountain. Hello? Whatever for? That I do not know. The moment he heard that Master Pang had passed away, he ran from the temple. He was last seen climbing the path to the summit. The mountain has become infested with monsters, emboldened and strengthened by the rise of the Lord of Shadows. It is a perilous place indeed. This being so, I dispatched a group of disciples to return him to safety. As you can see, things did not go quite as planned. I have trained all my life for a moment such as this, and yet I have failed in my first true test. I have brought shame upon Angrila. Mm-hmm. Might we be able to offer some assistance? I thank you for your kindness, but you are guests here. I cannot ask you to undertake such a dangerous task. A knight of Heliodor does not abandon an innocent in need. These people have shown us great kindness. It is only right that we do them a kindness in return. Would you not agree? Normally I would say no, but you know, I'm having a feeling that could be old Grandpa Wab, so let's go. Thank you from the bottom of my heart, but I cannot allow you to bear this burden alone. I shall come with you. Ugh, more baggage. I mean supporters. We must depart for the summit of Mount Pang Lai without delay. After exiting the temple, we will take the path to the east in order to begin our ascent. 